Yo, what's going on guys, it's Soul Tracker, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install this plugin called Script. And this Script plugin is very different from any other plugin because it allows you to customize your Minecraft mechanics, almost like coding a plugin, but it's a little bit different. So I'm going to show you guys how to download and install it, depending on what server version you have. And I'm going to be starting a series later on in the future, and we're going to be diving into coding with Script. I know a lot of people, like a lot of Java developers, are like, hey, it's not actual coding. But I am a Java developer as well, and I do like Script coding. Because there's some things that I'll use Java for and some things I'll use script for and I personally like both of them some people just hate script in general they say it's bad and all this stuff but I like it and there's some things that I use Java for that I would not use script for and it's just it's just back and forth so there's a big controversy about uh, whether script is good and whatever I like using it it works for me and uh, it's a lot easier because it uses English so I hope you guys will understand this type of coding and uh, let's get right into it alright so there will be several links in the description that you guys need to go download your script plugin so the very first link is going to be to github and this will be the very latest version of the script plugin that you guys need to download so go ahead and just download it and just script dot jar go ahead and download it I've already downloaded it but you can go ahead and download it and then the other link that I'm going to give you guys is going to be documentation we will be looking into this later down the road when we actually get into the coding part uh, so just keep that in mind uh, I will have these in the later episodes but this is where you need to download your latest version of your script so after you downloaded your script plugin, I'm going to be using 1.12 for these videos. So go ahead and find your plugins folder. Go ahead and just drag that script.jar into your plugins folder and then go ahead and start up your server. All right, so after your server has loaded, uh, you want to go into your plugins folder. I uh, just want to mention, if you guys don't know how to make your own server, there'll be a card on the top of the right-hand screen that will take you to a video of how to make a home-hosted server for, like, a private server for yourself. So after you get all that ready, go back into your plugins folder. As you see, there's a folder called script. This is where we're going to have all our scripts that we're going to code in the future. So you go ahead and open this. So here is is a variable excel sheet that you can list all your variables if you want here is your config there's not like a whole bunch of things that you need to modify really uh, it's pretty self-explanatory if you want to check for updates uh, there's just a whole bunch of things so you guys can go like scroll through here and see if you guys want to add something or whatever so just change it true or false and then over here is the aliases so aliases they have all sorts of different aliases so you don't have to have the specific type of block or something so you could use the ID codes but it might be um, easier to just write it out because sometimes you'll get like a warning it's not an error you'll get a warning if you use the ID codes so just keep that in mind now over here is where we're going to be putting all of our scripts so I know it's kind of confusing so you got your scripts folder and then there's a scripts inside the scripts folder and this is where everything is going to be so if you want to like enable or disable a script, all these things are called scripts. And they're used uh, with, I like to use them in Notepad++. And you can uh, write them out as well as in just a regular Notepad. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to have like a specific program to add these. So as you see, these are the pre, like the default scripts that have loaded to get a good example you can just like open these and see how everything is run so that that's something we'll be doing in the future but i'm not going to dwell on it too much but if you want to enable a script you can uh, either do it in game or just go ahead and rename it right here and remove the dash and then that's going to be enabling it so we have eternal day sk reload eternal day and that just reloads eternal day that way we can go ahead and open it as you see it says at this time set the time back to 7 a.m. so this is basically eternal day all, like all the time so that is just very simple very straightforward of something that we can do and as you see there's no errors or anything so that's how you do it so in council you can also do sk disable and then eternal day and that just disables it now if we go back go back in there we go we have the hyphen back so you can do it sk enable 
in the, your console or in game and that will enable or disable it so hope you guys did understand this installing of the plugin called script and uh, next episode we're going to be diving into coding with script so hope you guys will be looking forward to that if you have any questions on this uh video feel free to put it down in the comments below i'll see you guys next time peace